All right, so science. And I throw a Western punch and I feel it. I can go like that and punch some more. Right. So I was right inside the punch. Let me see the other arm. I said, that's a jump sow and I'm still punching, right? That's doing two things with one. Throw another, right? The jump sow with punch. He has another hand too. So he can do two things with one. So now we're stuck in a poon sow moment. Still one arm on each arm, right? So to get two things with once, this punch maybe rolls over, right? It becomes a bong sow inside the punch. So there's this false hypothesis going on. Why? Because other martial arts do a one-to-one. -one. They train almost exactly like they want to do. It's fine. That's the other stuff, right? Excuse me. We often call that hard style. And those styles have hundreds of forms because each form has to do the specific thing they want to do in the fight, right? Wing Chun doesn't do that. Wing Chun has a couple of forms and a bunch of partner exercises to leave something behind in our body right now with free fighting exercises. Lots of free fighting. Um, that's not fighting. That's not sparring fighting, right? There's no winner in lots of free fighting. It's more like point contact sparring where the free fight got through and we each recognize, oh, there's an area to work on.